talking mad hype about you, yo. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Welcome. This is incredible. Welcome. Almost on time. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <Back>. <laughs> In yeah, Utah, it not. is illegal to swear in front of a dead person. What? Fuck that. <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't believe my wife is in dead. <laughs> what? Handcuffs? <laughs> like, seriously, like, you're at a murder murder scene like your significant other family member someone fucking killed him someone fucking killed him the police start handcuffing you that's stupid <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing is like that that's not, that's not enforceable the cops curse more than anybody just as much as anybody yeah someone fucking stabbed this person ah, that's it james you're going to prison <laughs> that is so dumb let him yell into the darkness by himself or with his own little fan. Things, he's him. not. He's not leaving into the darkness. He's not riding into the sunset. He is opening doors to allow this to happen because he no, said, is not let go. I said, let him, let him yell into the darkness. Oh, okay. Same, same, same thing. Honestly, <clears throat> he he don't want to yell into the darkness though. He don't yeah, want to yeah, do he that. He wants people to hear him. This, yeah. he wants this. He wants this. No, he doesn't want this. <laughs> I I don't think he wants Sonic Four, yo. Hey, you, you don't, don't you don't know him. You know what he's into? <laughs> <laughs> like what you like? No, I'm sorry. Most Trump of the time. Is into <laughs> voluptuous 3D blonde bimbo, sir. Thank you very much. Missionary position while the YMCA is playing in the hmm. background. <laughs> and he's just a pump into the beat. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> what do you say about Minnesota, huh? That you're going to see a moose and everybody claps when it happens. And that's your week. You don't have to be truthful. <laughs> you can lie. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, you're not even in the cheese place, <laughs> so you can't even enjoy like a lot of cheese. Minnesota, um, North Shore Scenic Drive. Um, wow, driving! Minneapolis <laughs> is there wheat? of Art. <laughs> wow, art! <laughs> is there wheat? <laughs> Pretty good zoo. Pretty uh, good zoo. <laughs> um, this is the well, state, not a city, the state. For the scenic drive. <laughs> you went back to the drive. Mountains, cliffs, beaches, <laughs> forests, lighthouse, waterfalls. No mention of weed, unfortunately. So that takes it down oh. a little bit. Uh, uh, it's ruined now. Cool. A nature center, which is basically a zoo. An art museum. There was already an art museum. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Leaf Erickson Park and Rose Garden. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. The Mall of America is in the city that they host it. Okay, that's a, that's a what? Two hour trip? Three hour? I, I, we're just listing things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how you make a weekend out of the state of Minnesota. Oh no! Minnesota North American Bear Center. There you go. Hey, hold up! Oh, what the f is a bear center? Hey, you can see a lot of bears. I'd be down to see some bears. It's it's a center that has bears, of course. Is a unique bear and wildlife educational facility. Oh no! <laughs> Here's what the bears eat. Oh, thanks. You just made bears less cool. Hey, a science museum. I love science. I would go to something like that. Legit, like four. I'm out. There's like five things a museum, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's stuff like Minnesota History Center, which is basically a museum. You know, you know what this list sounds a lot like the Ohio list terrible. that we read, <laughs> dude. It's a lot like it. This is awful. This is terrible. The hypocrisy of people with the Confederate statues that are like, don't erase my history, but then as soon as you start talking about. Uh, critical race theory. Erase that history, though. 
Not that one. Don't teach that history. <laughs> that was what Trump was doing. Like, hey, yo, stop the count. But let us count over there. <laughs> stop the count in Michigan and Pennsylvania and all the places where I might lose if y'all keep counting. But the ones where I'm behind, like in Arizona, we keep need to counting. get them numbers up. Count them up. <laughs> Look, you can't have it both ways like that. Yes, I can. And yes, he did. <laughs> but I bet you if you looked at like Europe, you'd see like 70%. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Podcast of Stuff, episode 265. Hello, Hawakas. Hello, Ezra. Hello, Triton. Welcome, welcome. Or, you know, leave. <laughs> no, this isn't revisited. Oh. <laughs> we, we don't tell people to leave on this one. Uh, yeah, that's, that's right. We're yeah, wrong thing. We're wrong thing. <laughs> no, stay, please stay. More. Please stay. <laughs> Dude, oh, we boy. can't get them to leave. <laughs> that field video, that field stream, we would just like go to Tevin, go anywhere else. This is awful. Nope. Back it up, y'all. <laughs> they got tacit permission on both streams. That's all they were looking for. <laughs> Good. Oh, boy. Currently looking for arcade ROMs. Oh, like classic, classic arcade ROMs? I think you need MAME for that. He, uh, he really just wants to play that JoJo's game. Ah, uh, gotcha. Heritage of the Future or whatever. Oh, yeah, you guys are talking homebrew a bunch right now. It's actually, it's, they've made it quite simple nowadays. Oh, dude, it's the easiest. <laughs> just, yeah, like, I, I, I essentially downloaded two emulators today, and I was just like, given 20 more minutes, <laughs> I would have had two controllers on it save files and convert it to the program so we can have all the characters it's so and easy mm -hmm. like there i mean there's some that are harder than others like the 3ds you do need to actually get a hard piece of hardware installed i believe or no 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 no. sorry i'm thinking of capture device no yeah it's it's yeah. completely software for the 3ds i'm a dumbass <laughs> <laughs> yeah, emulators are big easy. I'm like, why would you even need a hardware in your computer to emulate a 3DS? You need a second screen or something on it? Uh, the, the ROMs aren't great for the 3DS. I or tried the... it. <clears throat> I tried multiple games and just, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't working. Um, so or I the just... emulator? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Compatibility is <clears throat> so... probably trash. Yes, so the capture. The, I mean, I have, a, I have a capture one now. It it was a lot, but I do have a capture one. <clears throat> Enough three DS ROMs work on Citra. Not the ones that I was looking at. At least at the time, Metroid the was not working good. Matter. <clears throat> Metroid don't matter. The ones that matter made it. <clears throat> hey, it mattered for me at the time. I was doing my bum rush through all the Metroid games. <clears throat> Subject. All right. So, been two weeks, a lot of things happened, we've seen some things here and there, uh, shit that happened just today. What's the move, what's the stupid movement called? Where it's just like... Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh wow, God. no, <laughs> not that. <clears throat> um, it, It's some kind of right-wing <laughs> movement where, where uh, it's just like the whites will be replaced or something. I forget what it's called. Oh, the great replacement. <clears throat> Thank you. The, the great replacement. Like it's just not a movement. It's a, it's a theory. It's a theory uh, <clears throat> that has been around for quite a while. Where it's just if, uh, over a generation, a, a people will overtake another people. So let's <laughs> just say Americans will overtake British in England in just a generation. <clears throat> mm hmm. But for what they're afraid of are just like black people overtaking white people in a generation. Yeah. Yeah, Triton, I like. It's uh, crazy talk, dude. I, I like it's where you. It's not so cuckoo shit. I, Triton, I liked where you were going, but yeah, that's, that's a, not the place, not the time. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, just. Mm, I don't. I don't get it. <clears throat> I just. 
I don't get it. It's just a fear of, hey, the, the maybe other. tomorrow I won't be in power. Maybe tomorrow I won't be the top. Mm-hmm. And that frightens me. It's just, Or maybe it's a fear of the people themselves. <laughs> it's like they will, they are only uh, so docile because they're at lower <laughs> numbers. But if they get close to equal or overtake us, then they're just gonna run rampant in the streets. And I can't, I can't picture a society like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the joke there was like, "Well, is it true?" <laughs> but no, it's I've just... seen uh, uh, Sean talk about it because Lauren Southern had an entire video which repopularized the theory or helped repopularize, uh, repopularize uh, whatever. I said it right the first time. It's and, it's gotten a lot of traction again, Triton. Yeah, and it's just it's ridiculous. It's <clears throat> it's so funny that all these things that we either debunked or mostly just were under the surface are all of a sudden coming back to the forefront, like vaccines being bad, like mm-hmm. the Earth being flat, like the Great Replacement. It's so odd. It's it, it's because we as a people are. At our stupidest. It is like there were studies that is just like people are more stupid today than they've ever been. Sounds right. It's just people that do not want to be educated on things. They just want confirmation bias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's there's a world of um, information out there and all you have to do is look up things that that affirm what you believe and then you just go no look i'm i'm even more right because these people say so as well there was an old college humor sketch where it was just like if google was an actual place and he was just like so there's all these examples that vote against what you're saying and here's the single one that says what you and then the lady just snatches it like thank you (laughs) that's that's all it is yeah Flat Earth movie is not gone. It's it's more prevalent than almost ever. There's a a NBA player currently that likes to tout it. I think mostly he touts it because he views himself as a pseudo intellectual. Kyrie Irving. Um, oh, dude, he's, he's off the deep end. He is weird. <laughs> Anti mass flat Earth government bats. Yeah. <laughs> GameCube attachment called the Triforce. It doesn't surprise me. I have no idea what it is. Um, but yeah, just like in terms of you know all these weird movements and what have you and just whatnot. Just I have always just been under the belief that people are people. I don't care. Like, like obviously there are people that are disenfranchised, what have you, and like we need to correct that stuff and oh. make condolences and what have you. But at the end of the day. And it may sound like I'm saying all lives matter, but just like I, I, I'm not sure how to put this in in a, in a good way. But it's I just a like I tightrope. I know. I just I Everyone don't try to. Equal. Yeah, I don't like. I'm not afraid of like oh the blacks might take over because at the end of the day they're also just people. <laughs> yeah, it's like I oh man, I'm the minority the now. Fear. Okay. <laughs> So what you're essentially saying is it's so bad to be the minority. I want to fight so hard against it. Mm-hmm. So don't you think you the the minority people should be helped and propped up as opposed to just, no, stay in your lane. Let's all stay where we're at. That's why I really hate all this keep politics out of video games type of uh, rhetoric that we're hearing these days because it's so like, can't we just keep the status quo? And yeah. it's like, the status quo is terrible. That's just the way society works. Why? Because it's always worked like that. But it doesn't need to. Yep. But yeah. Don't, the... it's, everybody, let's all benefit from Bush. Yeah. The, the reason it's kind of like spurned a lot of discussion, at least like as of today, was the shootings. Uh, well, it was the one shooting in Buffalo and the prevented shooting. The second prevented shooting in Buffalo. Did you guys hear about that? I didn't hear about that one. I didn't hear about that. <clears throat> so there was the shooting that was in at the grocery store in Buffalo, which was live streamed. Like, fuck. People suck. <clears throat> that dude <throat> sucks. 
And guess I had what? The what opportunity to watch the video? I went. Uh, no, no oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not even gonna do that. And that's. Oh, and no, I've thing- seen some. I've seen some things. I saw uh, somebody l- react. Dude, people are disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you're going into this whole he streamed it thing. Mm-hmm. There was some dude who made a reaction video to a shooting at a Madden tournament. People are hey. disgusting, dude. It's hey, all yeah. content. Mm-hmm. But um. And just, you know, to kind of go into the whole thing of like, hey, uh, man, it seems like the police sure do treat white shooters differently than black shooters. He's alive. Yeah. He was arrested. Again, no problem. Mm-hmm. So that's just uh, a whole He had a thing. beeper in his hand. Well, the beeper they ain't been around since the 80s. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened, but he did now. Whoops. Yeah. And then the prevented shooting was at a black church. Um, the shooter was actually stopped at the door. People noticed what was on him and they actually were able to apprehend him. I think before anything happened, <clears throat> what's <laughs> Triton, you have just shown your age. <laughs> what's a beeper? Reaction streamers. Absolutely. Uh, it, everything is content for a reaction streamer and people dying on camera <laughs> is just in content to react to. Yeah. He had the thumbnail, his hands over his mouth, just like, oh, oh dude, it was f- disgusting. It's like it's in the same vein of uh, was it Jake Paul finding the dead body in the suicide forest in Japan? Dude, there's it's... such a let's do it while we can do it, let's keep pushing the boundaries, and then when we get pushed back, we want to cry about it. Mm-hmm. You it filmed a dead body, dude. <clears throat> oh yeah. So just you know, once again, current current times is a shit show <laughs> in general. And as a reminder, <laughs> your weekly reminder, especially right now, Black Lives Matter, stop Asian hate. Wear your wear your masks. Cases are going up. Wear your fucking masks. I don't care what local laws say. Get your vaccines. Dude. Boosters are going to be coming up soon-ish. Um, f- uh, second boosters are going to be coming up again for uh, probably our age range coming up here in like uh, maybe a month or so. And then... Yeah, it's forever, bro. Come on. It hurts. <laughs> it doesn't My... hurt. It's just the aftermath. That yeah. Kills me, bro. My mom just got hers this past week. So it was like the 50s, 60s range was uh, recently. I put up, I put in the Discord the the uh, Detroit Health where it's just like uh, we know it's not a mandate, but can y'all please mask up? Mm-hmm. You're making a mandate. You're making a, a mandate again. It's just that simple. You got They're the power to do, do it. Ever again. Don't, don't. No, that it's done. <clears throat> it's over. I mean, you want enough of an idea of how little they actually care about human life. Look what's going on with the abortion laws. Please, dude, there's nothing happening to prolong our lives. They don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> That's another thing. It's I actually didn't bad. have that written down. But yeah, uh, the whole Roe v. Wade thing, um, which I love Why are we that... trying to dictate this, Bush? The integrity of the courts. That's what matters. There was a leak. No. That's what the problem is. <clears throat> Not telling an 11 year old victim that if she is pregnant somehow, like, you just got to do it. What it is. And and guess what you can't do at like the age of 11? Adopt a child. Cuz you are not quote emotionally mature enough to have a child. But if you can do it. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess we just gonna do it. And Stupid. It because my goodness, that 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 is that age range is. Imagine, cause um, our little brothers are about 11, 12 years from us. It's just like if they were just our kids. It's like they're this is sibling territory. This age range, and y'all just mm-hmm. like, no, nah, just do it though. Sorry, it is what it is. Like, God, you a, you a grandma at twenty six. <laughs> So like, Triton, what, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, so Triton at uh, Roe v. Wade is a Supreme Court case in the United States that um, was how long ago at this point? 50 years? 
Yeah, something like that. Fifty years, fifty years ago, that led to basically being the law of the land <clears throat> that women had a fundamental right to have access to abortions. Um, and basically, it's been a th- something on the chopping block for conservatives for many, 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 many years. Um, I want. I feel like I saw fifty years. Let me see. Roe v. Wade. I mean, that's uh, even in the nineties. That's thirty years. Nope, seventy three. Fifty years. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Um, Fifty years ago was seventy three. Yeah. Basically. Yep. It was uh. The, yeah. Yeah. The right to choice. Basically. You said Fifty years ago, I was like the nineteen fifties. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been it's been uh, 20, 22 years since uh, <laughs> 2000. Since that was relevant. Since that was yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah. I just saw something as I was looking through uh, articles today. The first Avengers movie is ten years old. Yes, it is. Just bonkers. Yep. Time is weird. <clears throat> um. But yeah, shit sucks right now in the country. So let's move on to right now. <laughs> right now and continuing. <laughs> As uh, present, future. Yeah. Being now forever, y'all. All right, let's go through all of this different stuff that happened. Oh, um, you let's fish. let's yeah, see nobody's here. trying to be here in two hours. <clears throat> let's see here. Um, oh, I have it curated. I'm just trying to figure out what to talk about first. Um. Yeah. Now, I don't think any of us have watched the Halo TV show. But oh, dude. We my have God. And verses on. <laughs> my God. What are they doing? <laughs> there seems mad spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Dent and, tri- uh, and verses are going ham in the Discord. It's like, they're it's so like, mad. That, it, that could go wrong just does. It's like, they're actively trying to piss people off with this show. Where, what, what chat is this in? Is it in TV shows? Movies or yo, TV hey. shows. Have you seen hey, what happened recently? Y'all wanted this bush? Y'all wanted it? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Monkey's paw curls. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, have you seen what out. Oh, and here it is. It's cucks. <laughs> Did you see what happened in the latest episode? No. Master Chief got laid. What? <laughs> well, stop. <laughs> With like stop. In the main antagonist, there's like some like tri- triple double agent human lady that's on the Covenant side in this universe. Oh yeah, and Cortana watched the whole thing inside of Chief's head. <clears throat> yeah. Get it. Good thrust, oh, Chief. One, two, you one, two, the one, two. Pack. I don't know what is in that game. <laughs> what? You didn't make it in Smash, but you sure are smashing now. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah. I don't remember. Um, like, I, yeah, I, I have, guilty. <laughs> I've never had an interest in watching it. But uh, I'm, I'm kind definitely going to watch it at some point just because this it sounds like a shit show. I mean, like. <clears throat> I don't I just give don't... a shit about Halo, and I might watch it. Yeah, I just don't want Paramount to buy Paramount Plus for it. <laughs> so, there's that. Of course, there are other hey, ways, but, you know. We can probably give you our login. I that give might work. Password sharing. That's a crime. <laughs> oh, in Netflix. And they wonder why. Here come the ads, children. Here come the ads. This is I'm all because ads, y'all. you 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 account you account share you password share. So now you get ads and no content to make the ads worth it. Enjoy Netflix. Hey, uh, Paramount Plus comes free. Oh wait, nope. I don't have Paramount Plus. Sorry, I got Peacock. Never mind. Never mind then. <clears throat> Never mind. I'll see. Yeah, I don't pay for Paramount Plus. I basically play for, pay for almost no streaming thing anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch enough Hulu. I don't watch enough Netflix. I definitely don't give a shit about. Oh, I might same. Get Hulu and Disney Plus back. I might get HBO Max back, but I mean, don't get Disney Plus. Eric got it. I don't know how many can be on at once though. Any? Okay. Yeah. I might just. Yeah. Just password share, y'all. <laughs> my mom has my Disney Plus account. It's so funny that Netflix is just trying so hard to just go. 
we've got this base. Let's just bleed them while mm-hmm. everybody else is like, nah, do what you do. Yeah. For now. We're our numbers. For well, now. Let's face yeah. it. It's, it's a for now because they saw what Netflix did, saw the backlash, no. and now they're just like, mm, maybe it's let's a halt now, that thing. Unless it works for Netflix. Exactly. If the numbers go down, go, ah, nah, we good. <laughs> HBO Max is the only one I can simply use <clears> nowadays because it actually has shit on it that I won't watch. Go figure. Absolutely. I'm probably going to get it back for the Flight Attendant Season 2 because I love the Flight Attendant. That was a fantastic show. Mm. If they did Harley Quinn Season 3, I'd be in there day one. I'm Give working it. on it. Oh, my God. Where is it? It's coming. It's not here yet. It's not coming it's... quick enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't be an impatient fan. When it's ready, it's ready. Nah, nah, nah. Ship that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, speaking of games. <clears throat> boy. Uh, a game that should have been delayed. Gotham Knights. <clears throat> oh. Yo. <clears throat> Yo. <laughs> that gameplay. Unbelievable. Dude, when <laughs> Arkham Asylum looks like a better game. You so know like, you've messed up. Arkham uh, Asylum came out like 15 years ago. What are y'all doing? And it's still the better game. That is unfortunate. So I feel like Red Hood's gameplay. And it's new only. Yeah, Red Hood's gameplay looks like, like I know you, you played the Guardians game. It looked like what we thought the Guardians gameplay for Star Lord would be like, you which is pew, pew 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 that pew. That is a very yeah. good analogy. That is a very good way to put that. It just looks not fun. And that's what the problem was when that first was shown. People were like, this just doesn't look fun. And and Guardians is fun enough. It's good. This does not look fun. And even even Nightwing, who's supposed to be the, quote, acrobatic one. Yeah. It just looks slow and clunky and... Yeah. I I wish I could screen cap it, but he deleted the tweets out of rage but my brother was tweeting about how excited he was to see the trailer and then the immediate first tweet uh, about the reaction was yo what the fuck are they doing <laughs> and it was no. just poetic <laughs> why would you why would you show that it's just like this is what we Here got comes, in this y'all. Story, y'all this is going to get them hype we still get to see they just like, yeah, pre-order bonuses, <laughs> all these costumes and stuff. And you show that gameplay. I'm like, man, this looks <laughs> just legitimately bad. It, it looks like a Gavin, game. Gavin, I will say the hopping from en- enemy to enemy in the Arkham games look goofy, but it felt good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it always looked a little jank. <laughs> yeah. But it, it looked more fluid. Yes. It was this... fast enough to do so, but this year is just them lumbering around going from person to person. Like, I'm going to get you. It's like, uh, <laughs> it, it, but in Arkham games, like, I don't know, I already got you and moved on to the next person. <clears throat> and it's just, just a bad look. The fast game. travel just seems real. Not fast travel, just the traversal of Nightwing has just whatever that thing is. <laughs> I think it's a glider because he had one in the comics once. Okay, and then just yeah, and then just like okay, what do we do for Red Hood? Uh, mystic shit from the Lazarus Pit. <laughs> mystic just, shit from the Lazarus Pit. Why would they just give him pit? a f- jetpack or something? I don't, I don't Anything. know. Anything, booster boots, some, or just let, let him just grapple all over the place. That seems fine. <laughs> Nah. He can well, only use the motorcycle. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, why wouldn't you give some people a... Because you got to be able to play with any character. So but they, they could all have different people. vehicles or something. I don't, I don't know. No, but if they got to traverse and go to rooftops and stuff, how how are you supposed to do that? So, uh, all of them have grappling hooks. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> something more, better than that. Yeah, there, <laughs> it couldn't be worse. <laughs> it it just, I'm just like, man, who legitimately will just want to play this? It just doesn't, simply just doesn't look fun. You got th- at three, you got three to four of good quality Arkham games. Admittedly, you know, some of them are better than others, but they're all or absolutely I think all of them are playable. fine. I think all of them are good, yeah. at least. They're all at least above a 6-7. Yeah. 
Yeah. Here, we this is like three territory, and it's coming out in months. You ain't got time to clean that up. That's just the game at this point. Let's yeah, be that's honest. Just the game. This is just polish time at this point. And there's no polish in that turd. And I love <laughs> how the stupid whoever was play, playing the game for the footage wanted to do something big and cool and whipped. So they just had to set it up again. It'd be like that. They didn't. They there was no effort here, dude. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, let me just do the entire sequence again. No. And it was it was a video. You can fake that shit, dude. Bruh. Why wasn't it <laughs> Nintendo it learned their well. lesson at E3 with the Wii, where Shigeru Miyamoto Ooh. was trying to do some shit with Skyward Sword and just... All the cell phone interference in the stadium messed with the switch or the the Wii, and mm -hmm. after that, no more live on stage demos. <laughs> None. Sorry, guys. You'll play it when you play it. Whatever. Pre-recorded only. <laughs> this is do and and it's pre-recorded. There's no excuse. That's what that's what I'm saying. You didn't need a fake like an actual live gameplay, and then it's like, all right, ship that for the trailer. It's like, no, no, just record something and fake do? dialogue over it. Do the Ubi method where it's just like, <clears throat> this is the game, shrug shoulders, and then they keep showing. This is like what you expect post downgrade mm -hmm. to be, but we're already oh. in the this is the hype time section. Yeah, where's the water reflections? We should judge the water reflections. <laughs> Always judge the water reflections. Detective Vision is just a UI element now. Yeah, that. <laughs> I just, I'm just like it's baffling. I'm gonna be here for the train wreck. <laughs> That's all this is at this point. It, it, it feels so much like Avengers. Actually, just really thinking about it, where just like the initial yeah. trailers and stuff, like them's like, oh man, this looks like pretty cool. This would be a cool concept. And then they just kept showing more and revealing more. And you're like, no. And then you realize. No. No. <laughs> <clears throat> Too much water. <laughs> I forgot about that with Pokemon. <laughs> Yo, game journalists are weird. Or at least the reviewers. They're weird sometimes. <clears throat> um, all right. Moving on with games. Uh, Dead Space Remake has an official release date, January 27th. Glad uh, we started playing Dead Space 3 now, because that was my whole thought. I'm like, they're, they're going to release it on Halloween. They have to release it on Halloween. They are not releasing it on Halloween. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, an, that's an odd <coughs> choice. But I understand that they if they don't want to get it yeah. out at the time. Yeah. yeah. They're, re they're releasing the trailer, the main trailer on Halloween that okay. they, they announced. At least do something around that time. Yeah. <coughs> um, on the note I'm going to play game. this game, but you're fucked if you think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> um starfield and redfall delayed until 2023 be. by bethesda oh, yeah uh jason schreier who is just like the <clears throat> game journalist was just like yeah i talked to some of the devs there and they were really worried if they stuck to that uh release date we were gonna get another cyberpunk Ooh. They, were, <clears throat> they were afraid of it devs were like yo we need to push this back because if it stays <laughs> like this it's gonna be a cyberpunk that <clears throat> when, just like... when 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 I'm sorry, but when a game like Cyberpunk with the hype and the backing it had has to be used as a metric for poor release, oh, it, 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 it's such a giant. It's such a just pillar of a metric, though. It really <laughs> is. There's no better way to measure failure than with Cyberpunk. Like No Man's Sky comes close. An I'd say Anthem. <clears throat> Anthem is the the next one for me because I mean, they, they're trying to no. save cyberpunk a little bit oh cyberpunk okay yeah yeah, yeah. anthem they gave up on yes <laughs> anthem's a, yeah anthem's a different beast there's no saving anthem they 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 let that thing die it'll always be fallout for me 76 yep oh but they the turned it better. around People the game is, say it's no, good now care. i yeah. don't care <laughs> oh yeah with the moss thing, uh helmet where it had mold or mildew in it yeah <laughs> with with the bag of, and you got points and all yeah. this stuff and the and the liquid that like, i keep hearing liquid. it's better now and it's not the same now so 
But the player base has got to be in the triple digit. Well, I mean, the big Probably. the big thing is, is it comes free with Game Pass, though. Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're big good. I looked at it. I was like, eh. Then I went, what are what are you doing? <laughs> it's not even worth the time it would take to install and uninstall to play this. Okay, there are like <laughs> six thousand people on Steam in the last um, twenty eight minutes. Oh, that's, that's, that's a pretty 24 good hour peak, almost a hundred. I mean, I mean, almost ten thousand. That's more than I thought. All right, yeah, you you, you get it. Fallout seventy six. <laughs> yeah, people say seventy six is good now. I'm happy amount of copy of pure sunk cost. Yeah, it's just like I've invested so much time that all these improvements, I just gotta say, is good. <laughs> I'm actually curious. Let's see. Games. Where is uh, MMO? No Man's Sky turned it around. No Man's Sky did turn it around. And you got to be happy for them boys. Uh, Cyberpunk. Dude, they got to knock it off. Every park with in the new Witcher. Every well, the, Witch, the next new Witcher game has to be, again, the best game ever made to fix their reputation. It has to be what they wanted Cyberpunk to be. Yep. Bare minimum. Where do you see, uh, like, the past however X many hours, DA, on Twitch? I'm trying to find Not that Twitch, for... Uh, Steam. Steam. Oh, Steam, it. sorry. <clears throat> I, was look, I was trying to look at other MMOs and just seeing, like, what is the most streamed. <clears throat> While he's it's, looking this up. It's just on Steam charts. Dude, oh, those it. Silent Hill in uh leaked screenshots look incredible. What? Oh yeah, you didn't see it? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll link it in uh the chat. Please do. Yeah, yeah, no. There's a uh, there's like five images leaked so far. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> anybody talked of that one yet. And it's not even like nah, this is some fake Konami struck down the Twitter that linked it. Hmm. It's just like Konami does not do that unless you found some. Yeah, you you've leaked something of substance. <clears throat> yeah, and they they leaked <clears throat> of substance. Okay. Um, let's see what else do I have for games, real quick. I was hoping you could filter by uh, genre, but you cannot on that site. That's fine though. Um, new trailer for Mario Strikers. Uh, no Daisy. Confirmed. Get it Art out of confirmed. here. Get it out of here. It's trash. It's worthless. It's worthless. <laughs> Who wants this? Who asked for this? Get it out of Are here. You're not putting <clears throat> best girl in. This Rosalina replacement is so the garbage. great replacement. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. Oh my great great replacement. Replacement. <laughs> It's all been leading back to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Holy shit. Oh boy. <laughs> boy. <clears throat> If they do DLC, though, she's going to be number one. No! It's, it's base it be- game! It better be free, and it better be the day it won't after be free. it comes out. It's going to be pay to play. <clears throat> I don't care. They're going to have you rent her. Her skin's going to be fact, a rentable item. It's just the fact that they're like, no, uh, who do we got? We got Rosalina or we got Daisy. It's like, oh, of course it's going to be Rosalina. The fact that anybody says that, they're wrong, and I don't want any part of that game if that's going to be your decision. <clears throat> no. Take because... Peach out if you're going to do that and put <laughs> yeah. Daisy in. Peach and Daisy are basically the same thing. Not yeah, Peach it's... and Daisy, Peach and, Peach and Rosalina. And I don't want to hear the people going, no, they ain't. Yeah, they are. She Shut got up. a bang. I'm not trying to hear this sh- they're both regal princesses. Get that garbage out of here. She a big lady. And but that's she's all real is. tall. She a big lady. Get that crap out of here. We need one of them. Daisy in the club on a Wednesday. That's who I want to play as. Wow. The chat is not <laughs> for what you guys are spitting right now. <clears throat> At least about Rosalina. Oh, oh, boy. Gavin said get Peach out. Get her out of here. Finish the game. Some, make it free. Something like uh, Wario and Waluigi. You can be like, yeah, they're, they're, they're the same character, but they're part of a, a duo. Yeah. There's, there's at least like a, a, a difference that you can be like, and then if you go to a Charles Martinet panel, he'll, he'll actually explain the difference between Waluigi. It's just like, uh, 
Wario is he's confident. He's he's all that. But for Waluigi, it's all just an act. He's mad self conscious. So you'll hear me be like Wah! and I'll sort of like drop off a little bit. And that's his self conscious sort of like coming to the forefront. I'm like, you're thinking way too much about some <laughs> wass, homie. But you do you, cause this is great. <laughs> that man has had get it's like in, such a stable there, job for the list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, said so- we may be in denial, but it's what we want. It's what the people demand. How you gonna how you gonna include Rosa but not Daisy? It makes no zero sense. sense. She's so feisty. You need, oh, you need her most famous sound bites are from the first strikers. And you're just like, <laughs> no, no, uh uh-uh. No, thank you. <laughs> Rosa. LC. She's got the personality we want for in Mario Strikers. That's who we should be coveting. Phil. All right. Oh, I linked all the... Uh, yeah, I, I saw. Video. Yeah, I saw. <clears throat> um, ch- 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 ch. Then, I, want it. I want it bad. Let's see. Uh, this one, this is just a, 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 an enjoyable fun fact. Um, <clears throat> Elden Ring has already outsold the latest Call of Duty, Call of Duty Vanguard. And I believe Call of Duty Vanguard came out either, like, late last year or, like, mm-hmm. January of this year. It, it, it's based on not even been a full year. Yeah. And it's already outsold it. I just find that fun, just because... Hey, you know what's not fun? Hmm. Because of the women. Because of the whams. What? Uh, Vanguard was heavily female-focused. What? Yeah. <clears throat> I always thought it was the World War II thing. People just don't like World War II anymore. No. No. Women. Wow. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, they put a woman on, and now it's not doing as well. Hmm. Yep. <clears throat> That's okay. the argument people have. Boo. We are at such <clears throat> a weird part of history. No! <laughs> <laughs> We are at a very odd part of history. It it is just awful. It's not Daisy propaganda. It's Daisy <laughs> facts. I will be back to that. Because I'm reading the chat and there's wrong people in the chat. Wave is wrong and Triton is wrong. Rose has been at least two games. Two <laughs> games. T- please tell me what it, what is better. Why? Why is um, Daisy worse than Rosalina? Give me, give me anything that puts either Peach or Rosalina above Daisy, please. They're blonde <laughs> and tall. What? What is it? Because they're both mad regal, and don't tell me that they're not. Daisy is feisty. She is different from the two of them. You're getting two of the same characters, and you have the option of a third that's completely <laughs> There's that in Reese's Pub <coughs> song animation thing. And she is. That is Daisy. That's Daisy. That's who I want. Peach is just glamming it up, looking at the camera. I don't give a shit about her. And we got this her. dumb little gremlin. Gremlins are always the best. Spoken <laughs> like a true gremlin. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Game recognized game. <laughs> um, and then the last little bit of game news: um, DLC for Nick All Stars uh, <clears throat> character yeah, released now. That. Jenny XJ9. Very. I solid like choice. how she released like two days after DA9. Unbelievable. <laughs> yep. For the first mm-hmm. time. <laughs> we have uh, three good choices. Uh, then next, then there's two more that got announced, uh, that are coming out later this year. Next up is Hugh Neutron. Um, <clears throat> yes, <laughs> very much and for the meme. people like, why not Jimmy? Well, I saw on Twitter, it went Nick All-Stars. Uh, it went Hugh Neutron trending with, uh, Nick All-Stars trending with XJ9 slash Jenny. He was the headliner. Mm-hmm. People wanted him and they gave it to him. What's the problem here? This yep. is a fun. This is this isn't a super competitive game or anything. These people are just giving you what what the people want, and I'm and, I, and I'm and it's I'm all asking, for the I'm meme. Talking about my talking to my brothers like, hey yo, Jimmy is just gonna be a gadget character, and that can be replaced with basically anybody. I mean, Jimmy Zim is kind of that gadget character. Yeah, Zim is kind of that. 
So it's it's not gonna be anything special. But with something dumb like this, something dumb like in Nigel Thornberry, you got you got something that's utility. Mm-hmm. That that's what the that's what this is, and it, it is also the, something that people wanted and asked for. So now you're like, oh, the devs are listening to us. We're not gonna get all the stuff that we want, but they're they're at least listening to us when they go when we go. Hey, this would be a fun thing to put in. Mm-hmm. And then the final character is Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Good man. Love to see him getting some love. He should have been in the base game, but that's fine. We don't need two <laughs> Lyle House characters. I don't know how popular that show is, but I, that, Nick, ain't, that ain't Nick my... Nick wanted it. Nick wanted it. Yeah. Nothing of real note to say if Rosa or Daisy should be in anything uh, apart from if the creators want to... No, Daisy should always be in. Yep. Base. <laughs> I don't care what the creators want. It's what I want. Um... Don't care about your artistic vision. Don't care about your creativity. I'm a <laughs> fan, and I want it. All right. Gaming tangential news. Uh, we got a little teaser, uh, like, right after last last podcast two weeks ago, of Sonic Prime. <laughs> don't either either get the guy or don't do the voice. Yeah. Do something different if, if you're it, not going to do it. It just sounded like that actor was trying to impersonate... Um, it's Craig. I forget his yeah. last name. Um, Smith, I want to say. Craig Rogers? I would think of Roger, too. Roger Craig? Is it, did we get it backwards? <laughs> we might have. Either way, voice don't actor. do the voice or or get the guy. Like, There's only two options. I think we Roger got yeah, Craig Smith. <laughs> yeah, we got all, we got all, all right. the names just not in the correct order. <laughs> just jumbled around. <laughs> But um, it's, it's, it's how I feel about the John DiMaggio version of Joker. It's like he's not doing the Mark Hamill. He's doing something reminiscent of it, but it's different. Mm-hmm. But then you you go over to Injustice and you got um, oh, the man who voiced Joseph, the, uh, Richard Epcar. Richard Epcar, and he's basically doing a pretty good impression of of uh, Joker. Like, yeah, this is this is absolutely serviceable. Same thing with um, that's why uh, when people are like. Oh, it's a terrible voice. I'm like, I don't hear terrible in it. Same thing with Arkham Origins. Troy Baker did a good Joker there. A good Mark Hamill Joker. If you're going to do it, like, if, if you're going to do it, do it as close to the original as possible. Or don't try. Or don't try. And this is like, they're trying to go to the original, but he's falling just short, and that just short hurts it. I talked about the same thing with the um, Frieza voice actor, Damon Mills, where it's like, he's good... 99% of the time, but that 1% of the time, it hurts. Because you're like, that's not it. Well, I don't like, think he's going to be voicing Frieza anytime soon. But <laughs> uh, No, he... he um, I, don't, I don't know if you followed up with that, but... Um, oh, no. No, it's... um the, the dude dropped the charges. Said it was consensual. I don't... I don't know. It sounds like... Because uh, Damon was just like, Hey, yo, uh, stop talking or lawyer up. <laughs> And maybe he just backed down because he didn't want to lawyer up. I don't know. But, you know, green <laughs> shots. Mm. But he see, yeah, it seems fine. Okay. Um, from that from that side of thing. But it's still just like, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm over uh. here. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to con anytime soon. <laughs> except the Mossery Con. Why not? The big cough. The big cough. Yo, with it taking up, are we even going to Matsuri? We are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all are, no doubt. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool with going to Matsuri. But, you know, I will be mashed up. Oh, you? yeah. It's the same here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I'm probably not going to Yoma. Yeah. Maybe we just, like, if... We feel like it just get an Airbnb, just don't go to Yoma. <laughs> and yeah, just that, hang out. That might be fun. That's always the play in my book. I'm good for that. <clears throat> um all right. It's a weekend of content and, and chilling. Yep. Da, 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 da. Um, I want to do snake oil salesman again. <clears throat> yep. I need it. There is and, uh, B-Man wanted to play something. I need to talk to you because we, we should go over his house at some point. So, fun little video game tangential thing. So, uh, recently, uh, Stone Cold 
Steve Austin did a lightning oh, round interview is, thing with Cody Rhodes. This is hilarious. And um, the first question was favorite Zelda game, which immediately Cody Rhodes is like Ocarina of Time. The dude's kind of obsessed with the game. He actually had a commentator's quote a line when he returned to WWE from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah, he, he loves, he's a nerd. He's, yes, he's a giant But Stone nerd. Cold's reaction to this. Yeah, Stone Cold follows up with, no, nah, man, Breath of the Wild. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> Stone Cold? You, 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 you rocking was, the sticks? So it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was even a second. It wasn't. It was <laughs> instant. Like, oh, Ocarina of Time. No, man, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, whoa, okay, Stone Cold. <laughs> The, the rattlesnake got some juice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, all right, there's, just, there's a little, little nerd I, I in can, there. I could see him playing a modded version of Breath of the Wild, where the finisher is the is the Stone Cold Stunner. Like, I can obviously <laughs> see him stunnering a fucking Bacoblin. I'm sure, he would love it because he loved when uh K. Brad did the a stunner for CEO. He he talked about it on his podcast and everything. He was just like, my man's K. Brad looking great out there. Stone Cold loves that. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. He's he's a good dude. Like he but seems now, to be. He's yeah. Now. He seems to just be like chilling in his old age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just like uh, you know, this is probably my last match ever. I'm gonna do a match. <laughs> my knees are gone. My back is gone. But I'm gonna do a match. And he did a match. It was a pretty good match with Kevin Owens. That's good. <clears throat> did they just stunner each other back and forth? <laughs> Doesn't doesn't yeah. KO do the uh, stunner? Yes, that was part of the issue uh, that he took a stunner. Uh, he <laughs> tried it; it, it ain't happen. But Stone Cold hit some stunners. Okay. And the worst stunner in history on Vince. Oh boy. Well, I feel like Vince never sells stunners well. No, this isn't a selling. He kicked Vince, and Vince stumbled into the ropes. <laughs> and no, then, no, 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 no! You are forgetting. He kicked oh, Vince. No. And then Vince, instead of bending over for the stunner, he fell down to one knee. Stone Cold tries to pick him up, and that's where he stumbles backwards into the ropes, to which Stone Cold <laughs> had to chase him in order to give him the stunner, in which case Vince just sort of leaned forward and then fell back. <laughs> I'm looking it up now. It is without a doubt. I can't, I'm not watching it. I'm, I, <laughs> I've never watched it in full. I've watched it in bits and pieces. I am, I'm no, uh, uh-uh. uh. Send it to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it in chat. It starts at the the stunner itself starts at about thirty. Oh God, it's so horrible. The stunner itself starts at about thirty seconds in. Also, right. signed into twenty two hundred. I'm just not realizing this. God, he looks so old. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why he doesn't like being on TV anymore. All right, so get that. I'm setting it up right now. Oh, you're uh, putting it on a stream? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, got to. All right, yeah, I'm going to watch it with your audience. Nope. No, Dan, no. no I can't, well, I'm not, I, can't, I can't watch it. Dude, My, it's, get, it's legitimately. Let me know so I can open the stream back up and watch this together. It's literally <laughs> the worst Stone Cold. Actually, Mike would probably have to do it through Discord if we all watched it together. Yeah. Because it's going to be a delay. All right. Here we go. Are we for real right now? He, oh, he, he, dude! He, he, he just sat down. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he did. He just sat Yo, down. People were clowning it. <clears throat> people were clowning it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Moving so on. <laughs> It was so good. Um, did you guys? But well, I think most of you saw the Resident Evil Netflix teaser. Yeah, 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 yeah. The trailer was was whatever. It was like you know it, it had Resident right. Evil stuff in there, but the synopsis. Oh, I didn't see the synopsis. <clears throat> the city that they are in is called oh, no. New Raccoon City. Oh, come on. That yeah. also happens to have an umbrella branch. Why, why would you do that? You could pick any fucking name. <laughs> any you could, name. You could have did Tanuki City. 
And then in a Japanese version, call it <clears throat> Raccoon City if it's not Raccoon City. So then it would just still at least be like tongue and cheek or something. Yeah, what's old Raccoon City in the universe? Did Umbrella already destroy it? Because that's why there's no <laughs> Raccoon City. They blew it up. John, the enemy, Ibert Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't like understand. They, they want the name point. recognition to try and draw people in, but it's like you already have the name Resident Evil. It can be anywhere. <clears throat> yeah, they, nah, they want the re- new the raccoon without the baggage that comes with it. So if somebody, if they do something that's not in the canon or the lore, people will get it's moving on. Block. It's Wesker <clears throat> the Third. It's it's like James Bond. The name just gets passed on to other experimental people. No, no. No, because he has right, a legit sword called Raccoon, Hank. Raccoon City is the name of the city where the first viral infection happens in Resident Evil. It's the apex. It's the start. <clears throat> oh, John, if they do that for Wesker, they're going to go ham on those voice lines. Hey, <laughs> corporations are wild. Like, I don't understand the decision makers where it's like, we can't make it Raccoon City, but we still got to say something about Raccoon City. Mm-hmm. Like again, it, what happened to old Raccoon City, or is it just like New York? A radioactive crater, homie. Yeah, they I, nuked I, it. I think this is like supposed to take place in the future. Yeah. Of so it, it's been like a hundred years since in Raccoon <laughs> blew, nuked of his city, and we're just—I mean, oh, and we're just gonna let Umbrella in again? Just go to space at that. Point. Just go to space. <laughs> Earth is gone. But that's Star the plot. Maybe the maybe world. they're already there. Maybe they're already in space. Maybe this is actually t- maybe New Raccoon City is on Mars. We don't Road know yet. Town. <laughs> <laughs> Ye old Raccoon City. Verminville. 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 Do- I can rock with a Verminville. <clears throat> Where you from, Verminville? Wear that on my chest. Tattoo that bit. <clears throat> um. Right along. Um, apparently, uh, due to or based upon a uh, email shared to Axios uh, at Nintendo of America, there's apparently some really, really bad uh, working conditions at the moment. <coughs> um, I it's haven't looked. No in, one's safe. I've looked into no it. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't looked into the specifics of it, but the I, the last thing that I saw was. Uh, Doug Bowser is apparently now looking into the issue, but like, <clears throat> homie, it, it happened under your nose. <laughs> like, are you, are, when these things come out, you just have to look at it in one or two, one of three ways. A, you knew, no, it's only two ways. A, you knew about it and you did nothing, which speaks to poor leadership. Or B, you're essentially absentee and don't know sh- that's going on in your company and you're a bad and uh, CEO president. There's only two options. Either mm-hmm. one makes you look bad. Either you knew and did nothing, or you didn't know, so you don't know what's going on in your company. And I can understand, you know, one-off, two-off uh, harassment things that it's impossible in a 600-employee thing to know about a incident that happened in, in 10 years of your employee. Mm-hmm. Sure. But <laughs> ongoing working conditions... Or see they hid it from him? Who? He's the f- president! Or CEO! Um, so I didn't reveal in the report last the week. The employees in the terrible conditions <laughs> hid it from him? The managers? Um, I mean, I guess you can't really just walk up and like, I demand a meeting with the CEO. <laughs> You're clearly not DSP. <laughs> um, so yeah, the IGN revealed in the report last week that several Nintendo contractors felt... Tr- Treated like secondhand citizens in an investigation launched after a former Nintendo employee filed a complaint with the National Labor Relations Board. Nintendo is a very big and complicated and secretive company, one contractor told IGN last week. And that's what kind of causes the problem. Each contractor starts with the hope that they will become a regular employee, and very, 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 very few people do. <clears throat> so it almost seems so like, stringing, like stringing them along. Yeah, it, it seems like internship type things where it's just like, we're going to pay you less and give you more work in the hopes that you will come here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. The Axios article, I'll post this in the, uh, 
in the chat. They have a gif of a warp pipe and then like <clears throat> a fisted hand <laughs> raising out of it. <laughs> like that, 8-bit. <clears throat> that's some weird imagery. It's like workers rising up or striking. Okay, maybe. okay. Oh, yeah. No, that's cringe. That's some cringe stuff, sorry. I understand, uh, I understand the message. I understand what you're trying to do. I don't like it. <laughs> um let's see. Uh fist that pipe. <laughs> <laughs> um next up, Disney uh potentially could lose the copyright to the original Mickey Mouse. Um, this, this is this is weird. So this is a uh, a right wing senator, and I think this is just the whole thing of them trying to continuously fuck with Disney as of recently. Um, yeah. But I agree with it. <laughs> They're trying to reduce the copyright protections uh, length from ninety five years to fifty six, which would ninety five then... excessive, extraordinarily mm -hmm. a century of copyright. Like you don't mm -hmm. do you even benefit at that point? <laughs> Does your estate even benefit at that point? Uh, I mean, Mickey Mouse, I mean, Disney, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> understandable, but like that's that uh, that's Disney's the main culprit behind the extension, though. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But like the the dude that wrote Old Man River, like is his estate gonna go in ham ninety five years later? <laughs> like Betty Boop, where you yeah. going? At? That's kind of, that's a name, but like you're gonna get a backpack of Betty Boop at most. What what could that check possibly be? <laughs> ninety five years post Betty Boop, like the ninety fourth year. It's just like, dang, next year I'm just gonna lose the twelve k I get. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I guess basically just, you know, how to explain this. Um, Disney has been kind of basically trying to mold copyright law into their own it's mold, favor. <clears throat> its favor, just so they can keep Disney and therefore keep making as much money as possible. <clears throat> if Mickey Mouse goes into public domain, then they cannot monopolize Mickey Mouse. Like the probably the most recognizable icon in the world besides like Superman's S or something. Yeah, um, I think uh, the the Mickey Mouse ears are the number one symbol recognized in the world. Yeah. No matter what, if they keep if they keep it or if they lose it, it's gonna change a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Because if they keep it, it's just like all right. Well, now there is a yeah, precedent right, so of all over. <laughs> yep. It, people are gonna be like, yep, we can keep stuff forever, and no problem. If they lose it, it's like okay, well now. All these knockoff Mickey Mouse's, yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. all them New York boys, them stanking boys in costume, they ain't gotta have the knockoff Mickey Mouse no more. They can just have Mickey Mouse. And then so other like, companies are gonna try to be like, hey, hey, they don't lost Mickey. What do we do to keep our stuff? And then they're gonna be more lobbying and, and trying to. So like for example, if the moose, <laughs> yeah, if classic Mickey Mouse goes into public domain, like DreamWorks could make a classic Mickey Mouse movie. Yep. Because he's public domain. Anyone can do anything with that character as they win. That's why, like, there's 18,000 versions of Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock, The character of Sherlock Holmes is yeah. public domain. <clears throat> Which I feel like <clears throat> should be. Yeah. But do, uh, do e even if they lose the copyright, do they still get kickbacks for the creation of the character? Like, does Arthur Doyle still get, his estate still get some kickback from Sherlock going into production? Yeah. Even though why would anybody it, could do whatever. Yeah, why would anybody do, like, the Sherlock Holmes example? Why would anyone do anything with Sherlock Holmes? It's a recognizable character. <clears throat> yeah. That'll bring in, that'll put butts yeah, in know, seats. I, I understand that, but can, does Arthur Doyle still get <laughs> stuff from, like, Sherlock and Elementary because they're using his character and works? Or is it just like, no, anybody can use it for anything and all the money goes to them? I, I think it's just, it's public domain. Anyone can use it. There's no royalties anymore. Ah, uh, see, that's the issue. That's where <clears> the <throat> companies are going to go, nah, we can't be having this. Yeah, I would have to look up. No, like, I, I, think, I think what it is is that it can be used, but royalties have to be paid. But it's not this, it's not like you can't monopolize it. Like, you can't say no. You, you have yeah. to agree on a price. Yeah, you can't, uh, I don't even know if it's a agree on a price. It might just be, 
uh, there's a flat rate or some sort, or like a percentage of the gross or whatever. Uh, Cause in copyright is just like, no, you can't use that work. 